Hey guys, Scott here with a new, uh, I'm not even going to say it's a beer dissection or what is style. Today I'm just going to talk for less, probably five minutes max. Um, so I'll call it a general beer talk just to address uh, some constructive criticism I've gotten on my videos uh, recently, um, as well as very nice that all, all the positive feedback I've been getting. And just give you a, just a quick background of why I do the, the videos the way I do them. Um, so the, the constructive criticism was... Hey, just brought to your attention that you you say um and ah a lot during your videos. Guilty as charged, okay? Definitely. Um, the person's absolutely right. I, I When I watch these videos back when I'm doing my mild editing, I realize I misspeak at times. Sometimes I'll have percentages wrong or I'll say something and I'm, I'm saying it quicker. Um, but yes, I will say um and ah a lot. And I'm not a broadcaster with the news. Um, I do all this on the fly. I rarely, rarely ever have notes. Um, every once in a while, I'll hold a little um, thing with bullet items, like a post-it note or a piece of paper, especially when I do my what is styles, uh, when I go into a little bit more of the history. Um, but I'm really doing it on the fly, and, and that's the reason why I want to do it. I, I envied a master Cicerone who did a thing called Tasting Together, and he would do YouTube live videos for an hour. Um, so even though I'm not doing it live for you guys, I'm essentially recording it live. And I just want to kind of have more of a relaxed atmosphere with my videos. Um, I just said, um, right? And, you know, not have it so scripted and very boilerplate-like. Almost as if you even wanted to pick up the beer and watch the video with me and analyze it uh, at the same exact time. So while I'm doing that, a lot of times the beer I'm having is the first time I'm ever having it in my life. Sometimes it's beers I've had, but maybe a long time ago, never analyzed it. And so what's happening is I'm sitting here, I'm taking the aromatics, I'm tasting it for the first time. And I'm trying to put descriptors that I've learned through studying for Cicerone and things like that. And, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like kind of thinking out loud while I'm actually trying to communicate with you guys as well as actually analyze the beer. Does it smell like um, grapefruit? Does it smell like uh, peach and things like that? So when I go, uh, and this and that, I'm thinking out loud a lot. So even if I had it scripted, I probably would have a tendency to say um and ah at times. And even when I watch newscasters that do this per profession or they're you know, broadcasting live from the city, they always seem to have that also. So again, I never really want to make this into kind of a very scripted, I'm reading from a sheet of paper. I know some other guys that do beer uh, videos do do that. Um, some have bigger production, they do a lot more editing. The other thing I don't want to do, which drives me crazy when I watch videos, is when you watch a video and every three to five seconds, it seems like there's a quick you know, stop, start, and it's kind of where they did the editing. I don't want to do that either. I just want to, to free flow it almost if, again, as if you had the beer in front of you also, and maybe you're sniffing it and, and following along with what my descriptors are, and do you agree or disagree? So when I'm doing that on the fly, yes, I am going to probably have a little glitch to my uh, speech. I'm not going to be perfectly saying it like, the you know, CNN, Fox News, whatever you watch and broadcasting it out. And I don't have everything there. So it's a lot of times I am thinking and trying to analyze the beer at the same time that I'm trying not to have a lot of quiet time and just continue speaking to you guys. So yeah, there will be some glitches. So that, so I also, you know, make sure I, I do appreciate the, the positive, the criticisms as well as the, all the positive stuff I get in my videos. Um, and I just said, um, again, so I am guilty of it. So the person's absolutely 100% correct. I do say that um, even when I'm you know, editing my videos, when I see I, I misspoke, sometimes you'll see a thing, I, I do edit it, I pop it up on the screen. Sometimes I don't. Um, and it does drive me crazy sometimes too. But, you know, listen, public speaking, I've done a lot in the past. Uh, that's probably more scripted and more my profession. This is something too that I'm actually analyzing things and I don't want to have a lot of quiet time. So I will have a little glitch in there. So I think for most people, they're not bothered by it. If there's anyone that is, but I just want to understand it. You probably be like, Scott, you even have to explain yourself. But that's the reason why. Uh, I just really want to make this just kind of free flowing, almost, almost as if my, one of my favorite Master Cicerones was doing a live channel. I don't have enough subscribers to do live videos. I don't think anyone's interested in that. But I am recording it live. I'm doing it on the fly, analyzing the beer, sometimes the first time ever 
or if it's a beer I've had in the past, maybe it's the first time I'm really scrutinizing it and smelling it, and I'm trying to think of all the descriptors and adjectives from aroma to flavor to mouthfeel to all the other adjectives and analysis, analysis tools that we do on beer. And yes, unfortunately, I do have those glitches in my voice. So anyway, guys, keep the comments coming. I appreciate it, plus or minus. Um, I don't even consider this minus, it's just an observation, which is really, again, not an inaccurate observation. I just want you to understand that's why I'm doing it and the way I do my videos, the way I do them. I don't do a heavy editing. Um, this one that you're watching right now, I'm probably not even gonna edit at all. Um, but I just try to do some light editing, pop up some things on the screen. I don't do a lot of stop stopping and, and changing everything like that. So anyway, for those of you who really appreciate everything, I, I, I love the feedback I get with my videos. And even if it is something that's more of a, you know, a communication thing, that's fine also. So anyway, guys, till my next beer video, which most likely my next video you watch is actually beer in front of me. I appreciate all the feedback um, that I've been getting, and even um, the person who I think is even my Facebook friends, I appreciate the feedback. You are absolutely right. I do have those little glitches like many other people do, especially as you stated in doing beer tube videos or any Facebook, uh, you know, not Facebook, YouTube video that I see out there, or even the nightly news, sometimes you get those correspondents that do the same thing. Um, so that's why I do the videos the way I do them. Again, keep it free-flowing, easy, more like fireside chat type of talk as I'm communicating with you. And feel free to pick up those beers and re-watch the video back and put your um, take on it, okay, on what you feel about the beer. So anyway, guys, till next video, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.